Hi everyone! Hello out there! I hope that everyone is staying safe and healthy. My name is Amy and I'm the new assistant park manager and naturalist at Holiday Park. And today I wanted to do a little video to introduce myself and also share with you my favorite Indiana treasure that you can find as you are exploring creek beds here in central Indiana. Um, even though the nature center and the playgrounds are remain closed for the time being, the trails are still open from dawn to dusk and so we hope that you're able to get out and enjoy the weather and explore. There are so many cool things at Holiday Park. So make sure you tag and share with us the different things that you are finding and enjoying. I've been enjoying Holiday Park my whole life and volunteering there for a little over a year now and so I'm so excited to officially join the team and do what I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to be a naturalist and um, before I worked at Holiday Park I was a museum educator most recently at the Children's Museum of Indianapolis as well as the Indiana State Museum. And so I have a real passion for informal learning environments um, and uh, environmental education being my biggest passion out of all of that. And so I am so excited to be able to learn more and share more. And um, I can't wait till we're able to all be at the Nature Center together again. So you may recognize me if you visited the Nature Center before from our Beastly Brunch program, our live feeding program. So when the Nature Center opens back up, make sure you check back our schedule on our schedule for all the fun things that we're going to be doing once we're able to. So um, today what I wanted to share with you, the natural treasure. Um, is actually a fossil. And put simply, fossils are preserved remains from the past. And a fun way to think about that is that they're clues from the past. So when you find a fossil, you're finding a clue. And um, this clue <laughs> is a piece from an ancient ocean animal called a crinoid. See if we can get that in focus a little better for you. There we go. So lots of times people find these round pieces with the hollow, hollow part in the middle um, in our creeks and streams and that's because of erosion. Those streams are actually doing the digging for us. So um, that water is washing away and carrying away rocks and, and dirt and layers of earth and so it's exposing the bedrock or the rocks that are beneath our feet and every day it washes up different things and new things to find. So the um, piece that I showed you here, this little Cheerio thing, lots of people um, commonly refer to them as Indian beads and what we're looking at is actually the stem segment and I'm doing air quotes because these were actually animals that were anchored to the sea floor. And these stems here are what's most commonly found from the crinoid. And even though it looks like a plant, it's actually an animal. So it was, again, anchored down here. And up here are its feeding arms and its mouth in the middle. So a long time ago, Indiana was an ocean. And so very, very commonly, people find ocean fossils here. So crinoids were really, really common, um, and that's why we find so many fossils from them. So the one I showed you is uh, kind of a bigger one. This is one of the big, bigger ones that I have in my collection, but they can also be really little too. So let's see here if I can get, there it is in focus. So here is a slab that was found on the side of the road um, in southern Indiana near the falls of the Ohio. So you can see here um, where the stem is, all those connected little pieces. So they can be really little, pretty cute. Um, so you can find crinoid segments all over the state. Um, commonly are those stem segments and less common I also have an example of one of those top 
pieces too. So that's the where their feeding arms are up here at the top. So less common are these. I bought this um, at a gem and mineral show here in Indiana. So I didn't find this one myself, but um, they, they're kind of weird alien looking things. So next time that you're creek stomping or exploring, uh, looking at rocks, picking up stuff, um, see if you can find some clues from the past, some fossils, and um, maybe you can one day become a paleontologist who is a scientist that studies fossils. So I hope that uh, you're able to come and visit us soon at the park. Uh, stay tuned for um, when we know more about when we'll be able to open safely. But just know that we miss you all and um, we hope to see you soon. Enjoy this weather and enjoy the trails. And again, make sure to share with us the different things that you're finding and discovering at Holiday Park. Thanks everybody and have a good day.